I work with teachers to help them increase their capacity in, uh, in math, to help them deepen their content knowledge, and in turn help the students learn more deeply the concepts that we're trying to teach. Last year we did not have the scope and sequence. I find that it gives a nice framework. It takes that stress of that surface planning away from teachers, and it allows you to delve deeper into the curriculum, to really spend time on developing those rich tasks that help the children learn at a deeper level. In the past, I would cover things strand by strand and try to get in as much as you possibly could, where scope and sequence, we're digging a lot deeper. So I can honestly say that I am covering more math curriculum this year than I ever have in the past. It's more hands-on, like Ms. Spicer brings in like tools for us to work with for math and it's just easier to figure out the questions. When I'm talking, people are actually listening because this year math is fun and they want to listen and they want to learn. Having taught grade five, six last year and a straight six this year, I was lucky enough to keep two of my students, um, one of which I would describe as a disengaged student last year. I never really got excited about math, always found a way to leave the classroom during math, where this year she has become one of my star students her hands are always in working with manipulatives. She's the one of the first to raise her hand and actually this year wants to share her thinking with her peers as well as with her teachers. Having two people in the classroom is easier because there's two different perspectives. It's easier for us to learn. I'm really seeing the computational fluency again increase a great deal. The other thing I'm seeing is concept knowledge. So we're using a lot of um, activities and tasks that allow the students to develop that deep concept knowledge before pushing the procedural. So we are planning out units alongside our numeracy coach at the very beginning. We're seeing them through from Monday to Friday. We're talking end of day um, about how the lesson went inside of our room, what we were going to change, what worked, what didn't work, and we're applying that the very next day. It's not just memorizing, it's actually real learning. 